hunting for Sasquatch event at Biscuit Basin in Yellowstone National Park. You could be the next citizen scientist to report a rare Sasquatch eruption sighting, write guest columnists Mara H. Reed, Samantha R. Hilburn, and Marjorie B. Price. Since May 14, 2025, scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory have been remotely monitoring activity at Biscuit Basin using a webcam installed next to Black Diamond Pool. Biscuit Basin remains closed to the public following a powerful hydrothermal eruption on July 23, 2024, that sent mud, rock, and water at least 400 feet into the air. Although this eruption was the largest ever to occur in Biscuit Basin, Black Diamond Pool has a long history of eruptions and was likely formed by hydrothermal vents between 1902 and 1912. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory suspect that explosive eruptions continued at Black Diamond after July 23, 2024. New sediment and rock debris periodically emerged for several months after the initial eruption. Monitoring equipment also indicated activity, but only two eruptions were witnessed by humans on November 5, 2024 and January 3, 2025. The events knocked out small seismometers, buried temperature sensors in mud, and in one case washed a temperature sensor into the Firehole River. Based on temperature records from several sensors, at least eight eruptions occurred between January and April 2025, but scientists were unable to determine the size or duration of the eruptions from the available data. Due to its mysterious nature, scientists began referring to the event as a Sasquatch eruption, a reference to the creature from North American folklore, also known as Bigfoot. Webcams were installed in hopes of capturing the event on video. The cameras transmitted images to a public website every 15 minutes and recorded the video on a location for later download if needed. At dawn on May 21st, images from the cameras revealed loose sediment in the pond and increased turbidity from the previous night, likely the result of the overnight eruption. Then, on the evening of May 31st, several people, including citizen scientist Craig Munson Jr., 
Observe newly displaced rocks and wet soil in the 8.45 p.m. webcam image, which was not previously visible in the 8.30 p.m. image. Scientists at the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory downloaded the webcam video, which showed a four-second eruption of water, steam, and sediment, 20 to 30 feet high, at 8.39 p.m. Finally, Sasquatch was spotted. One of the temperature sensors previously installed in the Black Diamond Pool spillway also recorded a strong signal from the event. The temperature rose from approximately 125.2 degrees Fahrenheit to 146.5 degrees Fahrenheit and then dropped back to 125.4 degrees Fahrenheit within a span of about four minutes. The temperature then dropped before returning to normal within an hour as the pool recovered from the eruption. The May 31st event was not the only eruption captured by this new camera. Similar eruptions occurred on June 12th, July 3rd, and July 14, 2025. Combined with the temperature and infrasound sensor recordings, the webcam footage provides an additional data source to further constrain the size and duration of the eruption. Hydrothermal explosions or eruptions, such as the Sasquatch event observed at Black Diamond Pool, are caused by pressure changes resulting from the transition of liquid water to vapor. These explosions are not directly triggered by magma or magmatic gases interacting with shallow groundwater. Instead, when water boils in a confined space, the expanding steam bubbles generate enough pressure to eventually overcome the strength of the enclosed rock, causing an explosion.